I think Ted Cruz is an undervalued stock as a player in the Republican nomination fight because he's, he's much more skillful, much more thoughtful than he's displayed so far in the national stage. I know I will set some MSNBC viewers and tweeters on fire with that, but he has the potential, and I think you're absolutely right, that he wants to be back in the game now because he's not performed as well or as, or as visibly in the last few weeks as he can. Well, that disturbs me no less. You've got me uh, completely worried by that, that, Mark, because I think the guy's so far right and so angry as a political figure that he, he will burn himself out like a Roman candle. Whereas I think Rand, Rand Paul, who's gotten a, a finesse factor, which I'm impressed with, he knowing when to kick Bill Clinton below the, the, the belt, when to make noise, and then to uh, sort of at the same time uh, sort of woo the Republican mainstream. It seems to me his problem is he's all known by his tactics. He's known as the guy that wants to shut the government down. He's right. known as the guy that doesn't worry about the debt zone. He's known as the guy that does like Mitch McConnell. He's known as the guy that takes on uh, support, gives support to all the challengers of his colleagues, being the most offensive guy at lunch. If he's only known by his tactics, not his beliefs, whereas Rand Paul is primarily known by his deep libertarian beliefs, doesn't Rand Paul carry the heart of the Republican Party? On the right, it's clear that Rand Paul was the man to beat. He's showing the two key faculties for presidential campaign success. One, he's showing that he wants it. And it's not about to slink back into his Senate seat between now and 2016. Two, he's showing that he knows what's necessary to win the Republican nomination. And he's doing it. He's not just running to run. He's running to win control of the Republican Party and turn it to his direction and to victory. The challenger he's got right now is Ted Cruz, who would only be nominated by a party that hates the government like he hates it, hates the Democratic Party like he does, and sometimes hates the Republican Party as much as he does. Since he needs the nomination of the Republican Party to run in November, I don't quite see how this works out for him. Right now, it's all Rand Paul.